Uh, hello, everyone. We continue our virtue of the month, which is gratitude and trying to be grateful in all circumstances, which can be difficult because we tend to lose our peace when faced with things that threaten us, whether it's our health or financial well-being or our family. Um, it can even be struggles in the moral or spiritual life that cause us to lose our peace. So the key is always focusing on God, turning to prayer in those moments of difficulty. And that way we find consolation, not necessarily that what's the source of difficulty um, fleeing us, but rather that we're carrying that burden with Christ. Think of the Holy Family on the flight into Egypt and all the difficulties they had to endure uh, during that journey, settling in a foreign land and um, leaving in the dark of night and uh, reestablishing a business and a livelihood. And yet uh, Mary and Joseph were able to focus on Christ as the center of their life. And that's what made their home a bright and cheerful one. And a spirit of gratitude reigned there because they were aware of the amazing grace of God present in their midst. And we can have that same gratitude even when we're suffering, knowing that Christ is suffering with us, that he has uh, taken up on the cross the depth of our sin and the depth of our suffering and conquered them, right? Conquered death. So we're always hopeful in Christ, even through the, the dark valley. We want to look ahead to the glory of the Holy Kingdom, which is also present on earth as we unite our soul more deeply to Jesus. Heaven, after all, is the union of our soul with God. So let's be grateful, uh, especially for his presence in our prayer and in the sacraments that we receive with a grateful heart. Happy Catholic Schools Week, uh, which begins on Sunday, the 1130 Mass. So look forward to seeing everyone there. And then we'll go right afterward to a lunch and a tour of our new school renovation from the Mary Letus campaign. So grateful to all of our donors. And uh, hopefully you can see the beautiful uh, fruit of the labor of so many. So look forward to seeing you. That's this Sunday at 1130 Mass in the Basilica. And then immediately afterward, 1230, we'll be up at the school for a wonderful lunch and tour.